So the reason I picked this movie is I've heard everybody on social media talk about it. I actually didn't even realize it was releasing or had any information on it. And then when I saw it was getting really popular on social media channels, I actually Googled it. And I found on IMDb, it was like at a 9.2 out of 10. Oh, really? I have not seen like most movies be at, much less so many Bollywood movies be at. So I was like, wow, the story's got to be really good. And then Rotten Tomatoes actually had it at over 90%. Oh, wow. Which I thought was crazy. Like I was like, this movie has to like knock it out of the park. So I went in with super high expectations. Like we were like up here. Like I was like, there's no way this movie's going to surpass like what I'm thinking. Everybody loves it. Like there should be something about it. And the star cast was one I had never heard of or, or seen. Yeah, I, I looked up some of the main characters and they, they really haven't done much between them. Correct. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know, like, but everyone's recommending it. And I think I can safely say, even though I had assumptions like this high, this movie like took it over here. Yeah. Like yeah. I just knock it out of the park. For sure. I didn't know much myself going in. I heard the title and you hear fail on the internet kind of being a comedy thing. So I was like, is this going to be a comedy film? Or I wasn't sure what to expect. And uh, it, so it definitely, it definitely blew me away. Yeah. For, so 12th fail, kind of in an Indian context, I knew it would be something about who maybe did past 12th grade. So in America, you kind of have like your senior year and then you pass high school and go to college. In India, you have 10th grade that you pass. And then you essentially go to what we essentially consider like community college from like 11 to 12. So 12th fail essentially that aspect of it and then you can get like a job um no, no, most people do go to university and you know study further but but that's kind of the context so 12th fail is a very common um expression and yeah so i knew it wouldn't be a comedy for sure i see and i didn't watch the trailer to it um and actually once i started watching the movie i realized that vikrath massey was in it and i've actually seen him in uh, a Pepsi pandu movie uh which is called i think it was like hasina Dilbara or Dubara or something like that, which I love Pepsi Panu and I love Vikram Massey. I just didn't like that story <laughs> at all. But I think his acting in this movie is just incredible. Hmm. Was he the, uh, the main lead? Or? Yeah, he was okay. the main lead. Yeah, Vikram Massey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he definitely crushed it. Uh, yeah, so overall, I think we both really enjoyed the film. Mm -hmm. It's uh, kind of a classic feel good story, sort of in the vein of uh, maybe something like The Pursuit of Happiness or. Uh, Rudy type, although uh, yep, true. You definitely, de definitely more more stakes to, to this one for sure. More more weight. You really are behind his his goal of just you know, doing what he can to better society, really. Which yeah, which is really cool. So the director is Vinu Vinu Chopra, who's actually done a ton of insanely good movies, including like Manabai, MBBS, wow, Three Idiots. Really? So I knew like going in, it was like going to knock it out. Like I knew that, which is again like why my expectations were so high for it. Um, and then he's actually a director, producer, writer. And so for some movies, like this one, he's done all three of them. For other movies like Manaba, you know, he's done certain parts of it, but not all three, essentially. Oh, okay. So an incredibly talented individual. And this almost felt like a low-budget movie. Yeah, I was going to say, this feels a little bit lower in scope for him compared to what we usually see. Correct. I know we just watched a recent one. Um, I I think it was uh, Donkey, I think it was Yeah, his. Donkey. Mm -hmm. Donkey. And uh, yeah, I feel like he went maybe over the top in places in that one. But yeah, this one, maybe having to work with, you know, smaller actors and a lower budget, maybe that made it a, a tighter film overall. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, so we saw Medha, Medha Shankar in this movie. This is the first time I've seen her on screen. She played the lead female sort of character. Um, I know she's in a few other things, but I've never watched her. It's just my first time. And I loved her looks. Uh, you know, it was very simple. It, 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 nothing felt out of place. Yeah. She's very natural. She's gorgeous. She acted, I think, really well in the movie. She had a really strong female character uh, without overshadowing the male character. Yeah. Yeah. They, they struck a really good balance in this film. Yeah. I really like that. But I have to say, my ultimate favorite, like, I love Rick R. Massey. I think he did amazing, incredible. I've got to say, my favorite character is probably uh, Anushman Pushkar, who played. Uh, first as the coach and then he becomes a chaiwala i just think i mean as a character in dr other park i i don't remember actually seeing him but when i was researching i did find out that um he was in mirzapur which is a tv show i absolutely love um i forget what character he plays in mirzapur but very talented actor but just the character he played in this yeah. was so good yeah he absolutely crushed it i mean he had his big scene where he makes the, the impassioned speech and 
I, I feel like sometimes I've seen in, in, in Bollywood films, they'll, they'll do, the, do the big speech and it falls a little bit flat because it maybe doesn't feel earned somehow. But in, in this case, like you see that they went through so much, right? And you really, you really believe you know, every, every line he's saying, oh, look, you, you have to do this and this is how I'm going to support you. And uh, yeah, just really, really knocked it out of the park. And I think uh, one of the coolest parts, he does this speech essentially towards like the first half, like first part of the film, like, you know, if I were to break the movie up into three quarters, almost in the first part, he has this big impassionate speech he does in the tea stall. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is a speech I would expect towards the very end. And yeah. I love the fact that they actually put in the very first part. I was like, oh, like everything's going to really work out for this guy. <laughs> it's funny. You actually, we're, we're talking all about his character arc, but he, he really does go through like seven years, I think, of uh, failing this test. He, yeah. Uh, eventually kind of devote his life to, he, that could have crushed him, but he devotes his life to trying to help others pass the test, which uh, was really, really cool. And you, you see it come full circle. And we haven't even gotten to the, the main characters. Arc, yeah. But that, was, that was a really cool story. Yeah. Really very, very well acted too. I, I definitely agree. Should we get into the spoilers? Uh, yeah. Okay. So if you guys haven't watched it, don't watch past this. Pause. And then come back. <laughs> and go watch the film, though. You, you won't regret it. <laughs> yeah. 100%. We actually couldn't find the movie anywhere where we're living in the U.S., which probably talks about the distribution of this movie. So we actually ended up watching it on Hotstar on Hulu. So if anyone's in the U.S. or not in India, you can't find this movie, check out Hotstar. You can maybe find it there. Yeah. And I thought the streaming was really great. And the subtitles. We don't get sponsored by them. I wish we did. <laughs> <laughs> so if you know someone, let them know. But uh, that's where we watch a lot of our Bollywood movies uh, that we can't necessarily find because movies around us don't play them. All right, so into spoilers? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's go. Um, what was your favorite scene? Favorite scene? Oh, gosh, there were so many good ones. Yeah, right. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I, I just um, I, I just love in general the, the character of uh, Manoj in this film. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you see, like every time he gets knocked down, he comes back up again with a smile on his face, and he just like is really has like so much, so much charisma. You just really, really want him to succeed, and uh, I think that that was all really cool. So I guess there's several, but I guess just every time that he kind of kind of comes back, you know, like he uh, he fails the exam, and uh, then the next scene he's in a what a granary or something, right? And yeah, a his farm mill. Yeah, yeah. His friends like where will you study? And he, he kind of squats down and has a little light. He's like, here, I've got a light, you know, and he's, he's just so, so happy despite everything. That was just always so, so fun to see. Yeah, I love that scene. Um, so kind of uh, going back a little bit, just on like the one of the first scenes I think I'm going to remember for a really long time um, is the scene where he meets um, his, his coach who mm -hmm. thinks he's going to be his coach. And um, he, he takes out this, uh, this police uniform and he goes like, you know, I, I failed, this is my last attempt, but this time I like visualized myself being in this police uniform and like, I'm gonna do it. And then and, like two scenes later, and so like you're convinced that this guy's gonna like get the position, right? Two scenes later, you find out he didn't make it. <laughs> and he's like, oh, well, like I'll just open up a tea store and just teach everyone else for free. And I, I genuinely thought like we were gonna see like a three idiot suicide scene like in the next scene, right? Like I yeah, was like, see him scanning the papers over and over. Like, where's, where's my name? Where's my name? Yeah, yeah. And like, you're like, holy shit. And like all these people were depending on him. And like, there's all these external pressures. And as you know, and he has one of the highest suicide rates um, in education mm -hmm. with no results. Like we're very high bar for this kind of stuff. It's so, it was so empowering to see a scene like that, right? Where he's like, okay, like, <laughs> This is not no worries. I can still make a difference, which is what all this has been about. Yeah, yeah, it was cool seeing a character you know fail and not have that define them. And uh, it definitely comes all the way back around in that last scene when uh, yeah. <laughs> his friends all all show up after you know after Manoj eventually does pass, and he hands him the he hands him the uh, the outfit. Right, that was uh, <laughs> that was that was really cool. There's this uh, entire uh, process called like an emotional impact moment, right? Like a moment that essentially defines your not your life but maybe like you know the next year of your life and i see we see a lot of emotional impact moments for manoj so i think the first one is when he sees an honest cop and uh, and you know the whole cheating thing and he's like well i thought it was normal to cheat but i don't understand what, what the big deal is i thought that was a really cool kind of like first emotional impact scene and then the second one is when he tells uh his girlfriend that hey i love you and she actually turns him down um and that's like a really emotionally impact moment for him to make it kind of that second lead and then the third one is when she does tell him hey i love you 
and then it kind of gets him across like the finish line. Yeah. His best friend, um, that was uh, actually yeah. pretty well too. We see his whole his whole arc. He kind of goes the, the opposite way from uh, Manoj, kind of gradually failing and just sort of uh, having that bring him down right. And Manoj was actually able to kind of kind of pick him back up. Uh, so it was um, maybe not a, a classic, you know, happy go lucky, you know, comic relief best friend, right? Like he, he actually goes to some some really dark places, but. Uh, I think he acted that uh, very, very well, too. Great performance from, from that actor. Yeah, I, I absolutely love that. I think I got his name over here. I feel like I made a note. Let me see if I remember. No, I actually did. Interesting, because I really liked him, too. Um, I'll have to look up who, who, what his name is. What I really liked about him is um, you always almost see this competition between two people who are trying to get the exact same thing. I almost thought his love interest um, and uh, Manoj would get into this, right? Where they're like, she gets it, but he doesn't, and there's some you know emotional work goes through there same with his best friend and you see this whole new refreshing outlook where you can support each other even if you fail right which was really cool and generally i think it brought him closer to his calling <laughs> like he, he just mentions in this casual scene where he's like you know i want to be in front of a camera i want to be a news reporter and then you kind of see that make a full turn yeah yeah that was cool around in the movie i really like that the one scene i think that made a huge impact mm -hmm. was um when he gets asked what happens if you don't become an IPS officer and he goes the goal is to change the country so this is one means I can do it but it's not the only means and again like we live in such a you know in, in a in a culture where education is valued so highly as it should be like that's not the problem the problem is people are misunderstanding why we value education so so I it's, it's designed to change you and make sure you're more informed whereas he's like oh, if I don't get this like I'll go back and I'll do something. Yeah, it was cool. I, I think that was also part of his character arc in a way, kind of not letting succeeding or failing at this at this define him. Like uh, that was for him, that was success in a way, right? Yeah. Like getting to a point where it's like, you know, I I'll be successful no matter what I do. You know. I think the other thing I really wanted to highlight in this movie, which I really loved, was uh, he passes the first exam without any coaching, and everybody's like, "Where did you go to coach?" And he's like, "I don't have a coach, right?" And um, education's a, a billion dollar industry. Uh, not only in India, but also in the United States. Um, and he does that. But he struggles on like the second and third front. And I think that just kind of talks about the point where like you need dedicated people in your life to cheer you on um, and who know what they're doing. Like there's a scene where he goes to like, this guy who became an IPS officer and he goes like, I need to test me. And he's like, well, just write about yourself for eight minutes and 20 <laughs> I, I love how that guy like broke it down. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he really, really scared him straight in a way, right? He's like, you're, you're beyond not ready. What are, you, what are you doing, right? And yeah, that kind of inspires him to, to work harder. And more importantly, I think work smarter too. Yeah. <laughs> like he, he's able to, to focus more and uh, yeah, eventually, eventually pass the exams. Yeah, I, I really like that. Uh, one of my favorite parts about this entire movie is their use of poetry. Mm -hmm. I feel a lot of poetry um, in Bollywood movies is like shyery. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of like pure Urdu in it, which sounds beautiful. And, you know, it touches the heart, but I, I don't understand what it means. Like, I don't speak Urdu. But in this poetry was, was so simple. It was so yeah. eloquent. Like, it was Hindi words that I understood. And um, he even has this little thing that he's like, you know, you can't, you can't do it. And I, I really like that. Like, I think this is time for, like, modern poetry almost to come into, like, Bollywood screenplay. Awesome. Yeah. Did you find that uh, the subtitles were, were different from the... The, the poetry? I think they have the same essence. Okay. Yeah, there, I, there's always a difference. Yeah. I was going to say, I appreciated the effort they made on the subtitles, even making sure that it uh, it still rhymed, right? And try to carry the same weight, even though it, I'm almost certain it wasn't a literal translation. Yeah. So that was, was kind of neat. Yeah. I think that I'll, I'll probably even give more props to like Hotstar slash Hulu on that front. I don't know if we'd watched it on <laughs> right. uh, a, a different platform if we could have gotten the same level of subtitles. I think we've seen that before, right? Yeah. Where I'm like, it's not quite what they said. <laughs> Um, I think uh, the other part of everything I liked was um, everything was so so in sync with each other, right? Like the, the quality of the cinema was, was so in sync with each other. They really show you kind of him going from the village to this big city. And it is a huge shock. Yeah. And I think they highlighted that really well. Like there's that scene where the entire recording is just in that little mirror mm -hmm. and he's just talking to the cop. And I, lo I love the way that was shot. Yeah, that was cool. I, I think in general, too, uh, seeing this character's transformation from, from the start to the end, and transformation multiple times, too, 
was uh, really cool to see. You definitely, he definitely goes on a journey and, uh, you know, comes out of it being, you know, much more confident and ready to change the world. So that was, that was cool. Um, I know you had an experience where you, you ended up in Mumbai. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely identified with that scene where he goes to the big city for the first time. Um, yeah, when I went to Mumbai, there was just the hustle and bustle of people and uh, crossing the uh, street even felt like, uh, <laughs> it was like I was playing Frogger, you know, like it was, <laughs> how am I not going to get run over? So I, I definitely empathize with uh, Manoj, especially, you know, he never, presumably never been outside of the, the village really to anywhere like that. <laughs> And then there's this this one scene like um you know he he crashes with his friend and then his friend can't find him the next morning and he's just like sitting on like, this little balcony strip i'm pretty sure i saw you do that on a mumbai trip <laughs> 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 where he's just like there's just there's just so much happening here <laughs> like, I, just a, I just need a minute um there's also this other section where he talks about um i'll do anything and like this is one of the few characters i've seen where he's like i will literally yeah. do anything <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's cleaning toilets, he's, he's cleaning the library, and there's dust everywhere, he's living in the top half of a floor of a granary, kind of <laughs> running the granary and then, then sleeping there and studying. Yeah, he, uh, you really see him sacrifice, you know, a lot, and that's where, there's a lot of these emotional moments, and that's what really gives them weight, I, I think. Like, we, we, they really, really feel earned, you really, really see the struggle, and when he makes the big speech at the end, you, you really, you feel it, you know? Yeah, and then there's this moment um, at the end where, like, um, you know, this this guy's walking him to his interview, and he's like, "Hey, like, this guy hates Hindi medium students. Um, you should lie and do this." And it's like, almost in some sense, like his last final test. Yeah. You know, where you're like, ah, "Is he gonna do it now?" You know, and like, is he? And he almost like at this point just has it subconscious, like, "I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna be an honest officer." And he does that. I think that was so cool to see. Yeah, yeah, he has about. I think five or six different moments in the film where he can corrupt his principles. Someone tempts him, right? And uh, yeah, every time you, you really see his integrity, he says he says no, or he, he calls out, you know, whatever's wrong, you know, even though it, it costs him, you know, personally, you know, a couple times quite a bit. So that was that was really neat to see. I think um, there's essentially this one scene where he's doing his interview and actually made you pause, and I was like, you know, at this point, he could just start giving some coaching classes, <laughs> and we'll probably just do great in life. <laughs> And actually uh, create a lot more IT as office. Like he seems to have all of it. So I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know if that's the <laughs> entrepreneur in me speaking or, right? or the hustle. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, man. I think you can make a lot of difference. <laughs> you don't have to go back to the village to teach kids not to cheat. Like there's a much bigger impact you can make just in Delhi. <laughs> yeah, we saw how much the, uh, the that teaching school made, the, the yeah. nice one where uh, they're, they're paying people to say they went to the school. Right? But <laughs> yeah. uh he, he could totally have uh yeah made a bank starting his own school like that <laughs> his character obviously never would but uh appreciate the, the hustle <laughs> yeah <laughs> well one of the i know i've talked about this before um but uh, his female lead um almost gets more successful before him and you always see that kind of be like the downfall um, of the character where you know they get mad in this and you just see manoj be so happy for his girlfriend yeah i know such an empowering scene like he's like my inspiration just became my motivation I, I just like love that it's coming from like a female kind of perspective or whatever you want to call it, but I, I love that. I think we need yeah. more of that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So all in? All in. Uh, yeah, definitely see this movie. It's a really great feel good movie. Uh, very inspiring. Great performances. The, uh, the title song was uh, a lot of fun too. Restart. 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 <laughs> So yeah, if you like this review, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you've got any uh, suggestions for what we should review next, please drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.